Yeah, Bellin's asking, can we summarize um, everything we just went over in one minute? Let's do it. So uh, in a functional analysis, it's kind of like an allergy test. Uh, instead of exposing your body to a bunch of different irritants, what we're doing is we're exposing a behavior to a bunch of different re reinforcers. We see what it reacts to. Uh, we're doing an alternating treatment design, so we're rapidly alternating between different conditions. Um, these use different reinforcements, and then we compare the results of these to our con uh, to our control condition. Um, we functional analyses are really important because um, it, there's a lot of research out there that when you use function-based treatments, they're a lot um, better than non-function-based treatments, and this is the um, the best method to confirm the function of behavior. Um, so yeah, we, the conditions are designed to create an MO for the reinforcer that they're testing out, and all these are going to reinforce with that particular reinforcer. So attention condition, uh, we don't provide them attention, but if they engage in the behavior, then we do provide them attention. Escape, we create an MO by providing them lots of demands. If the behavior occurs, we remove the demands and provide negative reinforcement for that behavior. Alone condition, uh, this is where we're just ignoring them completely, giving them no stimulation, seeing if the behavior occurs. Access to tangibles, um, this is where uh, we kind of hold the, uh, the item hostage, um, and then if they engage in the target behavior, we provide them that item. Lastly, our play control condition, um, this is the, our comparison condition. So we're gonna provide abolishing operations for all of our social functions. We do this by providing non-contingent attention, no demands, and highly preferred tangibles non-contingently, so they have no reason to engage in the problem behavior. We'll compare all of our test conditions to the level of this control condition, which we'll look at in a sec with our graphs. And then um, if behavior occurs in this condition, um, it's likely to occur in all of our conditions, and that's the best indicator of automatic reinforcement. If you like that video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to the channel. I also do live streams on YouTube, mostly on Thursday evening, so catch us live for there. We'll discuss any topic that you would like. Also, check out my socials for daily practice questions and my shop for tutoring and courses. Hope to see you at the next one. Laters!